If you're someone who's wanting to find a fun and easy way to make money online working from home, then you're in the right place, friend. In today's video, I'm sharing 10 ways that you can earn some extra money using my favorite design tool, Canva. Canva is a website that you can use totally for free that has everything you need for your designs built right in so you have access to tons of free photos, graphic elements, fonts, and design features. There are so many different incredible things you can do on Canva, but today we're specifically focusing on how you can use it to make money online. Let's get into it. Now, before we jump into the first fun way that you can use Canva to make money online, I need to let you know if you are someone who's been interested in selling digital products online, which is a really great way to make money as a side hustle or even as a full-time income, then I have two free gifts for you today, both linked in the video description below. The first one is my master list of over a hundred different digital product ideas. So if you know this is the direction you're wanting to go, but are just overwhelmed trying to think of what you could offer and what's even available in the digital product space, then this guide is gonna help you get started off on the right foot and give you a ton of great ideas. The other one is my free 45 minute masterclass digital product powerhouse. This is an on-demand masterclass you can watch right after this that walks through my personal four step system for starting and growing a profitable online digital products business. So whether you're a complete beginner and just need to know the foundations and the basics of what a digital products business is, what types of digital products there are, and the techie side of things like sizing, aspect ratios, file types, or even if you've already started your digital product shop and maybe just haven't gotten the traction that you want to yet, this masterclass is gonna be exactly what you need and super helpful for you. So both of those free gifts are linked in the description box below. Definitely click through to grab those when you're done watching this video. All right, let's talk about the first way that you can make money using Canva, and this is by earning affiliate income with with Pinterest pins. So we'll get to the Canva part of this in just a minute where we're gonna create our pins for Pinterest, but first we have to understand what affiliate income is. If you're an affiliate for something, that means that you're promoting and helping to sell someone else's product or service. Since it's not your product or service, you're helping to promote it as an affiliate, which means that if it sells and someone actually purchases whatever you're promoting through your unique tracking link, then you'll get credit for that sale and you'll earn a percentage of the sale amount or a flat fee, depending on what the terms of your affiliate agreement with that company layout. So let's say I'm an Amazon affiliate and I find some products on Amazon that I use and I love and I want to recommend to people to buy. I can use my unique link that leads them to those products on Amazon that track my sales. So if someone purchases through my Amazon link, I get a percentage of that that pays out to me every month. So this is a great way to make money online without having to ever even create your own products to sell, but you have to have a way of promoting these links and getting them out there into the world, right? So there's a lot of different ways you can promote your affiliate links, but one popular way is through blog articles and posts like this one. You can see this blog post provides a lot of value to the reader, but mixed in there are some recommendations that are linked and those are likely affiliate links from the writer or the creator of the blog. So when someone reads this blog, if they click on the link and they follow through to purchase whatever the thing is, that affiliate will get a percentage of that sale. So your first step here is to sign up for whatever affiliate programs you're interested in. Then go ahead and start your blog, writing different posts about different things that provide value to your readers, making sure to weave in those affiliate links throughout the blog article. And then we're going to create pins for Pinterest to promote our blog. So one thing I love about Canva is they have tons of different templates that are ready for you to use. So you could either create your pin from scratch, or you could go on and use one of those templates so that you have a head start on designing your pin. You can make your pin look like whatever you want it to look like. You can enter whatever text you want that points to your blog article. And then when you're done, you're going to download this image and post it as a pin to Pinterest, making sure that when you post it to Pinterest, you're linking the blog article as well. So if someone comes across your pin and they're interested, where they will then read through your blog article and hopefully click through on your affiliate links. Now, one note here is if you're using any kind of Canva content within the Canva media library, whether it's free content or pro content, you need to make sure that you're abiding by the specific licenses that Canva has regarding free content and pro content. There's a different license for each. So as long as you're abiding by those terms in the licensing agreements, then you should be good to go. I know licensing can be a little bit tricky sometimes. So Canva actually has a really great video on their website that explains licensing. I'll have that linked in the video description in case you want to look into that further. But for this purpose of just posting personal pins, you should be completely fine to use those templates. All right, let's move on to the second way you can use Canva to make money online. And that is by creating lead magnets magnets to grow your email list. Now, I know, I know social media may seem like the more fun and better thing to do to grow an audience to sell to, but trust me, email converts even better than social media and every single business, whether you're doing this just as a side hustle or maybe for a full-time income needs to have an email list that you own. It's your audience that you can sell anything to at any time. So if you're someone who's never even started an email list before, and you're wondering, how do you start from scratch? How do you grow an email list from zero? The answer is to create lead magnets. 
Lead magnets are basically freebies that you're offering for people in exchange to sign up for your email list. They're also called opt-ins because they require the person who's wanting that freebie to opt-in and voluntarily sign up for your newsletter and they get the free lead magnet in exchange. There are all different types of lead magnets. It really depends on what you're selling, what type of business you wanna go into, whether you're product-based or service-based. But in this case, we're thinking of creating something as a lead magnet on Canva that could serve as an instant download that you're giving away for free. So something like a resource guide, a checklist, or a cheat sheet of some sort. So the first step here is to actually go in Canva and create your lead magnet. You could get inspiration for the content of the lead magnet and also the design style of it by looking at the other Canva templates and seeing what's there, looking at Pinterest or even Etsy has some for sale and you can get ideas and inspiration to get you going on this. And once you're done creating that in Canva, you're gonna download that as a PDF file. And then your next step would be to set up your landing page, which is just the one simple web page that hosts the form where the person is actually going to enter their name and email address and sign up for your list. You can do this through your email service provider. A great one to start with is ConvertKit, or you could use something like Lead Pages, which is specifically for building these types of landing pages. Either way, it's just a simple page with that form. So when someone enters their information and they join your list, then they instantly get delivered that PDF freebie by email. Then you have that person on your list. And as your email list begins to grow, you can start selling to your audience that way, whether you have a line of products you're wanting to sell or you have a service you're wanting to offer. This is a great way to sell and make money online by building your own audience. A really great thing about Canva is that you can actually create templates to sell to other people that they would then go into their own Canva account and edit and use from there, whether they want to use it digitally or print it out. There are all different kinds of templates that sell really well online. Everything from business resource templates to social media post templates to things like homeschool printables and editable invitations for events like weddings and birthdays. The list just goes on and on. So you can become a template seller and create these on Canva. So the first step here is to think of what type of template you want to sell and do a little bit of research to see what project size or canvas you'll need to create this on. For instance, if I was creating an Instagram post template, then I would want to start my project in the size that's common for Instagram posts, which is going to be different than the project size I would start for a worksheet, which might be an eight and a half by 11 US letter size. So once I've got the right size, I'm going to create my project and start it on Canva. And I'm going to gather inspiration for, again, the content of what I'm putting in this and the design style from places like Etsy and Pinterest. You can get so many great ideas from things that are already out there, already selling well, and just put your own unique twist and spin on it to make it better. And once you're done creating your template in Canva, you're not going to download it as a final digital file, but you're actually going to grab the unique template link that Canva generates for shareable templates. Then once you've copied that link, you can paste it into a separate PDF document that's going to be your actual deliverable. So when someone purchases your listing for this, they're going to actually be delivered that PDF download that you're creating with the link embedded. So they'll be able to open that PDF document, click on the link, and that'll open it in their own Canva account for them to start editing. Now you may be wondering, well, where do I actually set up shop to sell something like this? And some popular places that you can sell Canva templates would be platforms like Etsy, Creative Market, or even using your own website with Shopify. Now, I have two pro tips for you here. Number one is you want to create your template from scratch. You want to make sure not to be using a pre-made template from Canva itself, as that goes against their policies when you're trying to sell your own Canva templates. So create it from scratch. And then also you'll want to use only the free elements. If you're using graphic elements and fonts and things like that, that are already in Canva, you want to make sure that whoever buys your template is going to have access to what you put in the template. And if you use pro content and they don't have a pro Canva account, they may not be able to access it without paying to remove the watermark. So to cut through all of that, it's best just to use free content from Canva when you are selling templates. Now, like I mentioned before, there's just such a wide range of different types of templates for different niches and target audiences. So if this seems intriguing to you and you want more ideas of what you could do with these templates, definitely download that free master list of over a hundred different digital product ideas that's linked in the description box below. So you have a great start with knowing exactly what you want to offer. Okay, time to move on to the fourth way that you can make money using Canva, and that is by offering print on demand products. Products. If you're not familiar, print on demand is a system of selling physical products. So things like t-shirts, tote bags, mugs, picture frames, candles, there's a wide range of different products that are available through print on demand companies where you are basically just designing whatever is on that physical product and setting up the shop. And once you start getting orders, the print on demand company is the one that actually houses the inventory for that prints it, fills it and ships it to your customer on your behalf. So you're not having to actually physically fill any orders. You're simply creating the designs, choosing the products and setting up the shop. There are a lot of different great print on demand companies out there. Some of the most popular ones are Printify and Printful, but you can do a little bit of research to see which one offers the types of products you might want to sell. And you can even look through their product catalogs to see 
see what the base cost of those products is to get an idea of what your profit margin might be at the prices you're wanting to set. So go ahead and decide on your print on demand company first and what types of products you wanna sell. And then once you have an idea of that, you're gonna go into Canva to actually create your designs for your products. Now you can use content from the media library inside of Canva for your designs, as long as you're not just taking a graphic element and using it on a standalone basis. You have to actually combine a few different elements to make it one complete new design to abide by Canva's policy here. So you can have tons of fun being creative using icons or clip art or graphic elements from Canva, or even bringing some of those things in from a separate website like Creative Market or Creative Fabrica. But what we're keeping in mind is we're wanting to create our own unique design from scratch. Again, if you use any of Canva's content, you just wanna look at the free content license or the pro content license, depending on which you're using and make sure that what you're wanting to do with your print on demand designs is by those terms. Once you have your design created in Canva, then you're gonna download that usually as a transparent PNG file, uh, maybe a little bit different depending on what product you're offering, but PNG is the one that allows you to have a transparent background. So let's say you have an Etsy shop or a Shopify website, you can easily link those with your POD provider so that once you have your design ready, you can just publish it straight from there to your shop. This is a really great way to make money with physical products without having to have space to store a bunch of inventory or even having to have the time and energy and effort to actually physically fill these orders. All right, the next fun thing we're gonna use Canva to make money with is printable wall art. This is an option for shoppers who don't wanna to go to the store and buy a physical piece of art to hang up in their home, but they want something instant, they want something they can print out on their own and have it hung in five minutes. So you can make money online by selling these types of digital files that serve as printable wall art. So of course you can use the elements that are inside of Canva to create your design, but an optional step even before that, like I mentioned before, is using a website like Creative Fabrica or Creative Market to purchase different things like graphic elements, icons, assets, and fonts to use in your design. If you just can't find the right thing within Canva, there are those different third-party websites that are available. Most of them have options to either purchase what you're wanting as a one-time purchase or to go ahead and pay monthly for or a subscription to the whole website so you can just download whatever you want from their content. Either way, you just wanna make sure to, again, abide by the licenses. They're all gonna have different licenses for what you're purchasing depending on the platform. So let's say I buy a bundle of different clip art that I wanna use inside of Canva in my designs. I wanna make sure if I'm purchasing this from a place like, let's say, Creative Market, I'm looking at the license for that clip art bundle before I even purchase it to make sure that the commercial use is allowed for what I'm thinking of offering. If it is, then I can go ahead and purchase that, download the files from there, and then upload those into Canva where I'm gonna be creating my design. Now it's really important with printable wall art that I start my project in Canva in the right size that I'm wanting to offer because there's art that comes in all different types of sizes. You could have something that's a small card size all the way up to a giant poster size. So I need to make sure I'm starting the right size project. And if you're not sure on sizing and things like aspect ratios for this, I have a digital product starter guide linked in the description box below. You can download for free and that gives you a whole sizing and aspect ratios chart specifically for creating printable wall art. But once I've got the right size project started, I'm going to go ahead and create whatever I want, whether it be quote art, could be something that's minimalist or abstract or retro. Use your creativity and think of your target customer and what they would want in a piece of home decor. Again, I'm wanting to combine different elements and graphic assets to create my own unique design from scratch. And then once I'm done, I can download this as whatever file type I want, whether it be a PDF, a JPEG, a PNG. I just wanna make sure to download it with high resolution. So if I choose PDF, print, that's going to automatically give me 300 DPI, which is the minimum that I want for something that's meant to be printed out. This will ensure it has really great quality once it's printed and it's not going to appear grainy or pixelated at all. If I'm downloading as something like a JPEG or a PNG file, I can use the little sliders on Canva if I have Canva Pro to increase my resolution before I download. Then once I've got my final files downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and publish those to my shop, whether it be on Etsy or on my own website with Shopify. And the buyer will then be able to purchase my list and download it instantly so I don't actually have anything else to fill those orders, which brings me passive income. All right, our next way to make money using Canva is by offering custom business branding assets. Business branding kits are most commonly sold as bundles or packages that include a lot of different files for a business owner to use for their branding and marketing. A branding package could include things like a logo design, sub logo design, business card design, a design for marketing materials like flyers and social media cards, or even digital use 
files like a Facebook cover image. The sky's really the limit with this, but you're gonna create and offer this as a custom package, meaning the shopper will purchase this package and then communicate with you as the seller to describe what their vision for their business is, what they desire for their branding to feel like, the aesthetic, the colors, the vibe, the fonts, and then you're going to create these as custom files to deliver to the buyer. So you're gonna create each different file one by one. So let's say you start by creating their logo and then their sub logo and then their business card design. You're gonna create each one separately as its own project within Canva, making sure again that you're creating these in the desired size. You can use the content and the assets within Canva, but do take note that any kind of stock content like stock photography or graphic elements that are in Canva are not gonna be able to be trademarked in any way. So let's say you use a graphic element that's like a watercolor circle inside their logo. The buyer needs to know that they're not actually going to be able to trademark that logo. Now it may not matter. They may not care about getting an actual legal trademark on their logo, but if they do, that's gonna be something that you'll want to consider. Most times businesses don't really care that much about that. So you're able to use those graphic assets and elements inside of Canva for your designs. And once you have all the different designs finalized, you'll download those as whatever file type you'd like from Canva and deliver those as a bundle to the buyer. All right, next up, we're gonna use Canva to create videos for social media. Just like we talked about building our email list before so we could build up an audience that we could sell anything we want to, we can do this on social media platforms as well. So it's important to both be growing your email list and your social media following so that you can just have another platform or several platforms that you can present what you have to sell to your audience. So creating and posting videos is a great way to grow your audience on platforms like Instagram and Facebook, and you can do this easily with Canva. So for instance, let's say I'm a coach and I'm wanting to sell a video workshop to my audience and I'm wanting to create some videos to post on social media to grow that audience to sell that video workshop to. So for this example, let's say I'm going to create an Instagram reel. My first step is to actually film the reel, film myself speaking, saying whatever I want to in the reel and including a CTA or a call to action at the end. It could be something like comment a specific word on this post and I'll DM you the link to the video workshop. And then once I have that filmed, I'm going to upload that raw footage into Canva where I'm going to then use Canva's tools to clip out parts that maybe I don't need in the video to add things like text and fun graphic elements and even background music. And then I'm gonna download that most likely as an MP4 video file to use. Now again, quick tip here is when you start this, when you're bringing your video into Canva, you need to make sure that you're creating that in the right size for what type of video content you're wanting to post. So I said I was creating an Instagram reel. Canva actually has a lot of different preset sizes you can choose from when you're starting. So I could just type in Instagram reel and here it is, it pops up at just the right size that I can bring my video in. Then of course, I would upload my final video to Instagram and hopefully people will start seeing that, interacting with it, and I can send the link for them to then hop over and purchase my video workshop. Okay, the next way we're gonna make money online using Canva is by creating and selling eBooks. An eBook is just a digital version of a book that someone's going to read. So it could be anything from something like a recipe book to something like a how-to guide. For instance, gardening for beginners could be a title of an eBook. So your first step here is to come up with the topic of the book and the content that you want inside of it. This may require a bit of brainstorming and there's a really great tool that you can use so you don't feel stuck on this and that is the AI tool ChatGPT. You can go on ChatGPT and ask it anything that you want. You can ask it to give you ideas for certain topics or even to learn new things around that topic. And once you're done with your brainstorming, you can also use ChatGPT to help you actually write the content or even to put in the content that you've written and have it just tweak the style, the tone of voice, things like that. Then once you have it all written and ready to go in the exact voice and style you want, you can copy and paste your content into Canva and create the actual ebook inside of Canva. Most times ebooks are gonna be created in the US letter size, which is that eight and a half by 11 inches. So you'll wanna start your Canva project in that size. And then you copy and paste all of your text into your ebook and get to formatting. So changing around things like the font, the spacing, the colors, even adding fun graphic elements if that's what you're going for. You can get super creative and have fun with this and make it what you want. Then you're gonna download this as a PDF print so people can then have it as one PDF file to then either print out or to read digitally. But once you have it downloaded, you're gonna list it as an instant download listing in your shop. You can sell this on places like Etsy, Amazon, or again, with your own website. Ebooks are another great product that can be created once and sell on repeat over and over again as an instant download, making you passive income. All right, the next way we're going to make money using Canva is by offering customized gifts. 
So here we're talking again about physical gifts that you can use a print on demand provider for. Could be something like a pillow, a mug, a candle, a piece of framed art, but whatever it is, it's going to be customized by you to input something specific or personalized that the buyer requests. It could be their name, it could be their location or coordinates. But step one here is to create your basic design for your product inside of Canva. And this is gonna be our design that we're gonna go into and customize each time we get a sale. So I would go ahead and go through the process of creating this product with my print on demand and provider getting it listed on, let's say my Etsy shop or my Shopify website. And then every time I make a sale, I can actually go into that same design in Canva and just change out the things that I need. So if I'm changing out names or dates or those coordinates to be specific to what that buyer requested, I'm changing those important pieces of the design out, but I'm leaving the rest of the design the same. And then I'm gonna bring that back into my POD provider and create a custom order that will then be filled and shipped out for me to my customer. So one important thing to note here is that when you're creating, let's say your Etsy listing for this, you will need to have a customization or personalization field available for the buyer and tell them exactly what you want them to input. So those names or the location, whatever it is, it's going to be customized. You want them to have a little box when they purchase where they can put in what they want on the product. All right, moving on to the next way to make money online using Canva, and that is by selling printable trackers and planners. This is another type of digital product that has a wide range of different niches and different target customers you could be creating this for. So you could do everything from a productivity planner, to an event or holiday specific planner, like a wedding planner or a Christmas planner, or even something like a habit tracker. So your first step here again is to do some research and decide on the topic and the content of what you want to include in your tracker. You can get inspiration from similar products that are already out there on Etsy, on Pinterest, even in Canva's own template library. Not only do you wanna decide on the content you want to include, but also get ideas for the layout of what this might look like. Next, you'll go ahead and start creating this in Canva in whatever size project you need. And you'll probably wanna make use of some things like Canva's table options that you can input a table onto your project or even looking in the element section for something like a checklist graphic. Once you have it done, you'll download as whatever file type you like, probably a PDF, but you can do some research to see for your specific type of planner or tracker, what type of file most people are wanting, and then go ahead and list it as an instant download on your shop. These are easy, quick digital products that people can just instantly grab, print out and use on their own, which make them super popular and a great source of passive income for you working from home. And remember, if you need some ideas, I've got that whole master list of different digital product ideas, over a hundred to get you going and give you some inspiration. And you can go ahead and click through with the link below to watch my free digital product powerhouse. It's going to give you my four step system for starting and growing that digital products business. It's going to bring in passive revenue for years to come. Talk soon friends. Okay.